Center for Truth and Justice being test of a press conference by the Coalition for Truth and Justice, calling on the state governors to be alive to their responsibilities as chief security officers of their states and stop playing politics with women lives. Nigerian governors must wake up to their responsibilities and stop playing politics. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this press conference. The pe peculiarities of time occasioned by the unwholesome activities of criminal elements across the country have once again brought out the national question on how the state governors have abdicated their responsibilities as chief, as chief security officers of their states. It is indeed worrisome that this trend has continued to unabate and largely responsible for the escalation of the activities of criminal elements across the nation, which has indeed caused untold hardship on the people. The various cases of kidnapping and ambadentry in some states are consequently of the lackadaistic attitude of some governors that have been engaged with plain politics to the detriment of human lives. It is unacceptable for this trend to continue because of the large consequences which, if not abated, could spiral out of control and Nigeria might be engulfed with acts of criminalities. It is our considered view that if the various state governors have been alive to their responsibilities. The embarrassing incidents of kidnapping of school students in public school would have, been, would have not been possible. It is indeed shameful that some state governors would commit huge resources to pursue endeavors that do not have direct impact on the lives of citizens while ignoring the need to provide adequate security for schools and other place, places of importance that are subsidized to attack by unscrupulous elements, criminal elements. It is gladdening that this much, this much was highlighted by a fellow governor, wherein he stated that governors have failed in providing security in their states in their capacity as chief security officers. It remains despicable that the songs on the lips of most governors is that they are not in charge of security of their states. We beg to ask, to ask what they have done with the security votes that are accrued, accruing to the state monthly. How have these monies meant for security spent by various state governors? If the governors also claim not to have the required form to provide security in their state, we, are also, we also beg to ask where they get their funds, which they pursue their political agenda during times of elections. It remains a sad tale that this anom anomaly has thrived over the years and the various state governors have been playing politics with human life. They seem to have no gross with the innocent school children are abducted from their dormitories. They also have no gross with how under their nose militant groups are grouping and threatening acts of violence that they have led to, so to scores of death and destruction of properties. It is thus our stand that the various state governors can be regarded as saboteurs whose interests lie in how they can assume wealth by dipping their hands in state coffers to sustain their lavish styles. 